Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Telford. Well, we're here to take you for a little walk around the classic dirt bike show 2023. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So in this area over here behind me, we've got some prize winning bikes. So let's go check them out. 490 two stroke 1987 this bike looks an absolute animal and what about this honda hpf xr 500 1979 the hpf stands for horsepower factory this one looks like it's just come out of the factory what a beautiful looking bike Or is the Suzuki more your cup of tea? The RM500T, another big two-stroke machine, 46 mm Suzuki forks, Olin's shocks, and a one-off swing arm. This bike was purchased from a Speedway racer who started his career back in the 70s called George Howard Cole. The bike was started once but never ridden by the owner and then has been stored away in a shed for the last 50 years. I'm liking the bright orange colour on this Fantic Trials 305 1985 two-stroke single-cylinder air-cooled bike. The Husqvarna 360cc Viking 1967. This bike has matching frame numbers and engine numbers and was rebuilt from a box of bits by Peter Saunders. What a fantastic job you've done. And what about doing a bit of trials riding on this BSA 1950 B32 competition bike? Again, amazing condition. So this bike won a rosette for best motocross. This is the CCM 1980 JHR Rotex 600cc. It must be hard for the judges, there's so many nice bikes here, but just look at the attention to detail. It's always nice to see the before and after pictures of this Rickman. So this Suzuki was born the same year as me, 1977. It's looking great for 45 years old. It's the PE 250 and Suzuki's first enduro bike. This bike was found in a barn in Cornwall 10 years ago. And just look at it now. It's a Westlake 500cc grass track bike. Check out this winning bike. So Steve Raymond signed up for Champ KTM, went on to win the World 125 Championships in 2003 after only signing up for him in 2002. So here we have the Yamaha 1992 TY250 Pinky. It's BSA all the way. This bike wins the 1965 British Expert Trials. The BSA Bantam, built around 1970 with a 175cc engine and a special BSA factory gearbox. All of these BSA bikes had a great little story to tell.
So I was hoping to see here today one of the first bikes I ever rode as a teenage kid. We've got the TY 250 here. Um, I started off in a TY 175, 1980 I think it was. I'd have only been 14 years of age riding around the fields, um, always getting told off on that bike. Uh, it's nice to see these bikes, brings back a few memories. So let me know what you started on, guys. Is there a bike here that uh, brings back a few memories? Pop it in the comments below. So I've been to a few classic bike shows now. One thing you do find, there's quite a few bikes up for sale. So there was an interesting bike that caught my eye on this stand. It was the Jawa Ice Racer. I've never seen one of these bikes before. Made in the Czechos of Acria, the engine of the 893 1978. The displacement was 993 cc. Single overhead cam with two speed transmission. It's got a 23 inch front wheel with 100 hardened steel spikes, a 21 inch rear wheel with 150 spikes. That should give you some traction. Was this the worst motocross bike that Honda's ever built? It's a CR125 from 1979 with a 23 inch front wheel, which was a bit of a failure. Maybe that makes it more desirable for collectors. So this is the 125 Cup stand. All these bikes are twin shocked and air cooled. So the World Vets Motocross Group organise events for riders 25 years and over. The main one being at Farley Castle on the 19th to 20th of August. Open to all riders of any standard on any bike. This looks an interesting read. The New Dawn. This book covers the history of the British Motocross Championships between 1975 and 1982. Here's a selection of dot motorcycles ranging from the 60s to the 70s. So what do you think of these Rickmans? I must admit they are absolutely stunning bike. Apparently one of these lives in the owner's lounge and I'm not surprised. It's absolutely immaculate. This room was just full of CCMs. Here's another special bike. It's the CCM 1979 125cc two stroke standard production bike. This bike is totally original. It's unrestored and unridden from the day it left the factory. Here's a few bikes made by Greaves and one of my all time favourites, the Royal Enfield. So if you've not been to this classic dirt bike show before at Telford, you need to go check it out. It's a weekend event that's divided into these three halls. There's people there that's not just selling bikes, but they're selling parts, they're selling the tools, and they've also got the knowledge. So I hope you've liked our little walk round at the classic dirt bike show at Telford 2023. We've had a fantastic time. Uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel, then please do so. Give us a like and we'll see you in the next one.